Hello everybody. Welcome to Tiny Twig Farm. Today I have a thrift store haul video for you. We had to go to Atlanta to have lab work done today and we usually stop by the Goodwill and we did pretty good today. Mama. Found some neat stuff. So Mama, let's go over a little names. better. Um, yes and Landon is here with me too. He is playing with a Tupperware shape sorter ball. We got this for his yes. cousin. We've Maverick. Yes, Maverick. We babysit him. So he comes over several times through the week. Got him a little toy to play with here. And he's playing with that right now. Alright, what else did we find? We found this big bug observation jar. It has a big magnifying glass on top. Um, it should open up a top. I don't know if I can do it one handed though. There it goes. You can put the bug in. I did it with one hand. He has a couple of small ones of these, but I mean, how could you pass up a big one like this? <laughs> he can catch the big bugs and put in that. Like what? And it was 99 cents. So like what? We couldn't pass that one up for the nature activities and walks and turning over logs and rocks and things like that. Like what? Okay, what else we got? Um, an unopened puzzle. I got this for one of our puzzle videos, so be sure to check that out later on. It would be a cool one to do. We found some instruments for our music box. Mine. Got all kinds of instruments in there. And we found um, another on. instrument. It'll be okay. And this one is wood and metal too, so definitely had to get that as a little higher quality. Hey. Guys. And we found this cool make your own dinosaur kit. It is a complete kit. I pulled everything out to make sure everything was there. And it is complete, everything is there, and we will hopefully do a video of putting this together. It was another hey, 99 Dad. cent item. Um, let me see how this thing opens. You have to put it over here. You're gonna lose them off the table. All right, so now we go to our stack of books. Now, Landon loves Goosebumps books. This one we found is by the same author. So we're going to try out some of his other books too. We have a list that we printed off um, so that we could mark out the books as we collected them. So we need to go and update that. But so we found this one and we've watched the TV show too, so he knows which one this one is, but still wanted to add it to the collection. I this him. one, he says it's creepy. <laughs> Here's the picture. Yeah, the picture's creepy. Let's see, we got another one here. Mama? Mama? Hmm? My fangs are probably creeped out now. This one was pretty cool. Landon found it. It is like a graphic novel. It is more like a comic book than just the regular book. Mama? So he has some pictures to go along with what we're reading. Mama? Hmm? So that one's cool. You're probably freaked out. <laughs> These three books, I thought they were pretty cool and thought they might be pretty interesting, considering he likes the Goosebumps books. Uh, we've never read any of these books before, so we'll have to let you know how they, how they like them. But we found three of those. We found aliens, monsters, and spine tinglers. What is your spine tingle? Kind of looks like Creature from the Black Lagoon. Just change the color up a little bit. <laughs> okay, this book, I've never read it before, but I thought it might be a good one come Thanksgiving because it's pumpkin pie. 
So we'll save this one for November. Why don't you tell them what it is? This one? I couldn't pass up. Because it is Halloween. And we love Halloween around here. And it's a cookbook. And it is a cookbook. Yes. It has all kinds of cool Halloween things to cook, make. And I love some of the illustrations in it as well. But I just love it. I couldn't pass that up. Why? Because it's Halloween. <laughs> we love Halloween. I love Halloween. Everything's Halloween. Uh oh. I'm knocking stuff off the table. <laughs> All right. These two books. I got two of them. One is shapes and one is numbers. Um, they're both on that book. Yes, they are. And my... Well, I bought them for Maverick to look at, to play with, um, to read them to him and everything like that. But then I got to looking through it. And it actually, you have the English word and then you have different languages. You have French, German. Italian and Spanish so Maverick's not the only one that can use it we can use it with Landon too and learn shapes and numbers in different languages it's a giant fly and he's trying to land on the moon <laughs> better get him out before he gets squished <laughs> Okay, so that's the shapes. And then we have the numbers one. Get off of there. <laughs> oh, there's a frog. He might eat you. Frog will eat a fly. <gasps> He's gone. So this one is the same way. It has the English, and then it has French, German, Italian, and Spanish. Same way through the whole book. I just thought it was cute. And we'll get lots of use out of it. Oh, it's got a sticker in it. <laughs> so there's actually another one for colors. Too bad I didn't see that one at the thrift store. I got it too. This one, it's pretty cool. And this one, I'm so happy I found it though. Um, I had looked at it online and then I happened to find it in the thrift store. Because right now we are learning about sharks and then that will also lead to more ocean studies. So it's perfect for that. But it's not just a plain book. It has little tabs in it. Let me see the next page. See the next page? What's that one? Can't get it. <laughs> There's a crab under that one. <laughs> there he is. He says, that's better. He moved to a bigger shell. So anyway, this one is really cool. And I love the, I love detail. the illustrations and the colors. And also the detail. Yes. Out of say? my way, small fish. I just I love say? it. I Little fish like to hide in seaweed. I just love all the colors yeah, of the seaweeds and the jellyfish. They're so pretty. Yeah. What is that thing? We'll read it later. No. <laughs> well, I'm not reading a book on um, video. I just love it. I love it. I love anything ocean. Wait. Okay, well, you take it and you look some more, okay? You look at that one. Beep. So, oh, the shit. last item was this dinosaur book. Um, it was actually the first book I found when we was looking through, but Mama? Dinosaur Identifier is the name There's of this one. There's actually three tabs. Yeah. And mm -hmm. let me move these out of the way. This one I thought would be a good addition to our Can't you homeschool. see I'm trying to sleep? <laughs> I thought this one would be a good addition to our homeschool Mama? Uh, Look. collection Look. of books. It says, can't you see I'm trying to sleep? <laughs> um, I just really, I really like the illustrations in it and the information it was giving on how to identify. I just thought this one would make a really good addition. It would be a great resource to have when we go learning about dinosaurs. Oh, 
Oh! Oh! So that was all of that one. So our video got cut short just a little bit, but this is everything we found at the thrift store today. I spent around $20 for everything. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed seeing all of the things we found at the thrift store today. And if you would like to follow us on a daily basis, you can find us on Instagram at Tiny Twig Farm Family. And thank you for watching.